So the idea was to go to three of the great lakes. So Lake Michigan, which is where I am right now, and Lake Superior and Lake Huron. And the quest that we were on were to get agates and also to get pudding stones and omars and just anything that we can find in those those lakes because there are different things that are available in different lakes and so that's what we did and I hope you enjoy this video it's three generations so like I'm the dad my son and our grandson three generations three great lakes seven beaches yeah now here we are at Whitefish Point I've got my son John with me and also Xander, my grandson, that you've seen in another video. Say hi to the camera, you guys. Hey. All right, we're here trying to find agates or anything else that we find interesting. A lot of driftwood, a lot of people in the water. The water is actually kind of warm here on Lake Superior. And look at the freighter out there, guys. Well, I can't help myself. I've got to get in the water and I hardly ever wade in my bare feet, but I'm doing it this time. Ooh. Well, that, with that red veining through there, that looks like uh, BIF, banded iron formation. So uh, when we get back to the hotel, if we have a magnet, we ought to see if it attracts a magnet. Well, that would be cool. Yeah, did you show those to your dad? I did. He was looking at some uh, examples of game right? And I'm a sucker for quartz. It just glows. Well, we haven't found any agates. Some BIF, banded iron formation, unikite, which there's loads of it here. This is what I love. My son and my grandson and me looking for rocks on Lake Superior. This is better than the biggest agate in the world. And this is where we stayed, Curly's Motel. Bare bones, just the basics, which is all you need because you're going to be spending all your time looking for rocks on the beach. All right, today we are in Grand Marais, Michigan, not Wisconsin. Lake Superior, and it's a beauty. Sailboat, brave people swimming in the cold water. All right, let's get to finding some rocks. We recently moved and I left behind a whole bunch of rocks that I picked up over 20 years. And so I feel like I need to stock up again. And so I'm totally, totally, in love with these pretty rocks. And you know I do have pretty rocks in there. Pretty ladies all in a row. Oh yeah. You always have to stop for the nice rocks. I love these patterns like that. Kind of a pretty little spot, a unikite. Find anything interesting? Yeah. I found more fossils than anything else. I thought I found them. Really? So I don't know. You know, finding some bigger, you know, with that scoop, just finding some bigger stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm always in love with quartz. Look at that. Well, it looks like it, maybe it's granite, quartz, and a bunch of things all jammed together. Yeah, that's a beautiful specimen. Well, uh, look at this one. What do you think of that? Oh, I, I love these. I, I call these nebulous rocks. Okay. Because they look like outer space to me. Yeah. And see that, that yellow stuff right there? Yeah. Okay, that is when I'm talking to you about limonite staining. Okay. I believe that's what that is, limonite. So when I see stuff like this, I think, oh, that's an agate, but you know, it probably isn't. That's what I was wondering. Yeah, and these, if you break them, they're, they're gonna have that concordial fracturing. 
So that is really neat. That, in my opinion, is a keeper. Yeah. That's really interesting. I like the way that uh, quartz is just kind of spread through. It's gorgeous. Gonna have to stay here, but I like it. If you were just kind of looking for orange rocks, wow, a lot of feldspar here. Lots and lots of unikite. Here's just another example of it. That's gorgeous. And that look great in your rock garden. Really? Oh yeah. But you know you take something like that and put epidote grains or veins through it. And it's even more spectacular. Oh, I do see something that I like. That is all brecciated, all broken up. It's got some feldspar in it, quartz. But oh my, that's that's pretty right there. I think that is my favorite find of the day. It's hard for me to pass up a bullseye rock, but I am. Oh yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, how do you not like something like that? <laughs> it's just so cool. I mean, it's just sedimentary rock. Well, no, that's that's fossilicious. Fossilicious. Oh, look at that. That golden look. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's not gold, but it does kind of make you wonder. Interesting. Well, that almost looks like an agate. We are a little bit east of Grand Marais, Michigan. We have to cross over this little area here in order to get to the beach, which shouldn't be a problem looks kind of shallow and the water isn't going very fast so here we go water is brown from all the tannin from the leaves you know we're not exactly walking across the Red Sea on dry land but you can see a little area that's kind of a sandbar that makes it easy to go across. Okay. So now we've got this thing with all that purple in it, quartz, and it is fossilicious right there. And then there's this one. Limestone or uh, limonite staining. Some areas that look kind of well, both of them have areas that look sort of agaty. So, this one I'm gonna have to cut up. This is my grandson's. Well, now here's an interesting one. <laughs> I like it. I'm getting a kick out of finding these, these Omars. I like it, I'm gonna have to take that back. All right, this my friends is Lake Huron. I love these little roadside parks. This one is just a little bit south of Sheboygan. 
looks like the rocks are maybe a little on the small side. I like seeing the big freighter out there. There's my son and grandson down there taking a look at things. Hopefully we'll find a pudding stone or something similar. That's on our list today. That's what our grandson wants to find. He wants to find a pudding stone. All right, you've been here for five minutes and you found these two pudding two stones? Pudding stones. <laughs> that's on, on the beach off the road. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's really nice. That's a nice piece. I thought that one looked like a pudding stone. Just now you're just going to have to find something better. That's right. Well, let me see this. Yeah, here, take a look at those. Now we've got some. Well, this beach is loaded with pudding stones. They're pretty small, probably pretty picked over. Gogonda Tillite, kind of on the small side. But the story of today is these waves are making it almost impossible to really look at maybe the better places that are out just a little ways from shore. But at least we have accomplished one thing. We've all found pudding stones. This is pretty cool. It's been all little stuff. And now it's a lot of big stuff. See if you and I can lift it. Just the two of us. One, two, three. Ah, never mind. Yeah, that's too <laughs> heavy. We have to build a green car over here. What a nice Gogonda Tillite, though. All right, well, you know what that is. And the way I found it is the old scoop method. Try my luck in some of this small stuff. It's washed up here, dry. See if I can see anything. The red jasper ought to stand out. Well, there's something. Oh, yeah. The red, the black. It's the right material. I like those. Man, I wish I could take that home. That is really nice. I like this little Gogonda Tillite, and I am going to take that home. But the thing that's fascinating to me is I didn't know that granite could be incorporated into Gogonda Tillite. I guess they've never really thought about it before. So if you have some information about that, please enlighten me. I like to be enlightened. This is just at a little roadside park a few miles south of Sheboygan. It's a place I would definitely recommend. And there are three of these that the Park Service maintains and the bathrooms are fairly decent. So I can see why this place is kind of popular. Rockport State Recreation Area. Yes, this is kind of an old gravel pit kind of place. And oh, it's fossilicious, there's no doubt. It looks to me like there's just about anything that you can want here. Don't you love the heart-shaped ones? It's definitely a different kind of place if you're used to going to beautiful beaches. This is a different kind of beauty. Of course, that big, big pile of rocks right there. If you want to sort through that, you can probably find some amazing fossils.
It's kind of interesting. What have we here? I like all the little brachiopods. It's kind of neat to see the way nature reclaims things. You know, it's looking back over the parking lot where we parked. Kind of pretty up here. See evidence of the mining that was done here many years ago. Then you see evidence of what was here a long time before that, like this piece of brachiopod. And that structure looks like uh, crinoids. It's a nice view of Lake Huron from up here. Look at that. All right, Sturgeon Point Lighthouse, Alcona Historical Society. Let's take a look at what this beach looks like. That's a pretty little beach. The word is you find pudding stones here. The people are looking for petoskies as well. I always like to find little streams like this. I don't know if it's runoff or if it's an actual creek or river, but it's kind of nice. That would be some Goganda tillite, which is, I think, wonderful, but I don't need any more. Wow, look at all these rocks. A little bit of horn coral there. Let's get it washed off. Yeah, kind of nice. Naturally, I have to wonder if that is an Omar. What do you think? Doesn't look like it's the right color, but I'm picking it up. It's kind of murky offshore here, but it looks like it's shallow, so on a calm day, this would be an awesome place to come and look. Another nice piece of Goganda tillite. We've got some banded jasper in there. That's nice. I think I'll leave it here for somebody else. All right, what do you think of that one? That's kind of pretty. I really like that. Very cool. Quartzite is the right kind of material for pudding stone, but it's all pudding and no stone. Uh, look at what, what's happening in the front seat there, Xander. I think your dad has gotten bitten by the rock counting stuff. <laughs> Just looking at all my quartz. Wow, that's really nice. Love seeing that kind of stuff while I'm on my way to pick up rocks. Pilgrim Haven. Never a shortage of rocks at Pilgrim Haven. Big ones, little ones, fossils, lightning stones. So here we are at Lake Michigan. 
so calm compared to Lake Superior and Lake Huron the last couple of days. Okay, I like that piece of crinoid. That's, that's pretty cool. I'll take that home. So there's some nice crinoids, granite. This is different. Some really nice patterns there in that. Nice example. Might hang on to it for a minute. Well, in this trip, we started out at Lake Superior. We drove all the way up to Whitefish Point, looked around that evening when we got there, and then the next day went to Grand Marais there, also Lake Superior. Went to the public beach, and then we also went to Rose Hill. That's a little cemetery. There's a road that's right next to the cemetery that goes to the beach. And that's where we waded across the little bit of a river until we got to the beach. And that was, that was the most productive place that we went to. The highlight of the trip by way of rocks would be the agate that Xander found. And we did go see the agate lady in Grand Marais and she rang the bell for his agates. So that was kind of a fun experience. That's something you gotta do. Then we went to Lake Huron and we went to that roadside park which is just a few miles south of Sheboygan. After that, we continued on that same road until we got to Rockport State Recreation Area. And then we continued on to Sturgeon Point, which was also a crowd favorite. And then I finished up, the other guys went home and I finished up Lake Michigan at Pilgrim Haven. The favorite beaches? I would say all three in Lake Superior were great, but it seems to me like we found the most things at that cemetery beach. The second favorite beach, I would say, is that little roadside beach just south of Sheboygan. So it was a great trip. Ended up being 1,800 miles, three and a half days. <laughs> Curly's is okay. It was a great trip, and I hope to be able to do some more trips like this, and I have a lot of fun with my family members. You guys take care. Find a lot of good rocks. We'll see you next time.